I'm Amy Marconet. My lab is called the Marconet Thermal and Energy Conversion Lab, or MTech. You might be familiar with a laptop battery that on the outside looks like this large gray plastic sheet. If we open it up, there's things inside that look very similar to your AA batteries. These batteries themselves consist of many tiny layers of different materials, ranging from metals to particles of carbon and, and particles of lithium. So the chemical reactions that happen inside the battery generate both the power that we use and they also generate heat. So if you're using your laptop for a long time, you're using your cell phone or charging it, you'll notice that it starts to heat up even if you're not doing anything on the phone just from the discharge or charging of the battery itself. So the only way to cool the batteries is to take the heat that's generated inside, conduct it out to the case, and then from the case through the packaging and ultimately to the air in the room. If the batteries start to overheat, one of the layers that keeps the positive electrode separated from the negative electrode, it's called the separator, it starts to melt. When that melts, the battery can short circuit and it eventually can explode or start on fire. So our next step is we take lithium ion battery cells, we dissect them in order to harvest the materials that are inside and test the thermal properties of those materials. So we do that by cutting into these cases and pulling out what's called the jelly roll. The jelly roll consists of layers of positive electrode, separator, negative electrode, rolled up just like a jelly roll cake. We take those thin films, we cut them into sizes that we can analyze with our thermal conductivity measurement tool. So what we have is a heater on one side and a water chiller on the other. And we're establishing a temperature gradient across the three layer stack. So it's liquid nitrogen cool. So the sensor itself is at about 77 Kelvin that lets us measure temperature gradients with micro scale resolution. So at this point, we found the thermal conductivity of the separator layer, which is a very porous layer, to be fairly low compared to some of the values reported in literature. That value is critical for predicting how hot the cell will get and whether the separator will ultimately fail. This data will help us improve the safety and reliability of batteries for a number of applications ranging from laptops to electric vehicles. We can have higher capacity, larger battery cells that we aren't uh, worried about overheating anymore.